Hello wheelers, welcome to When Wagon Wheels Are Bigger, the podcast that wants to eat crisps and run around a supermarket with laser guns. I'm Martin. I'm Mark. This is going to be a terrible, terrible alternative to that plan because we are going to watch one of the one of your favourite programmes, aren't we? From when you were younger, you. <laughs> I did. I did watch it. Yeah, but um, I did. The too. reason being <laughs> um, because we were both uh, really cool middle class white boys. Oh yeah. Um, there's nothing we loved more than uh, hip hop. Um. Drinking gin and juice and watching <laughs> <laughs> and watching game a uh, video games TV shows and playing video games, but the TV shows like Games Master and this shit, which is bad influence <laughs> bad with influence. Violet Berlin and Andy Crane, or as I like yes. to call Violet Berlin, a lisping Billy Idol, as Andy Crane likes to call her. As, as Andy well. Crane, sorry, as Andy <laughs> Crane called her in a video I made <laughs> that he did as well. <laughs> he did. That he endorsed. It says at the beginning, <laughs> a lisping Billy Idol. But there was no shortage of video game TV shows for kids at around the early 90s, uh, late 80s, was there? It no, was, it was games the boom, wasn't it? it? Video games it boom, was with the, boom. the NES, yeah. SNES, Mega Drive, etc. It was a uh, a really big thing, and everyone was very excited about it. I'm pretty sure that Bad Influence is often playing on a TV in a game shop in the town I work in, um, because Violet Berlin is definitely part of whatever they're showing on a loop. <laughs> so is, it oh. probably is this. Is it um, classic Violet Berlin or modern day mess Violet Berlin? It's it's classic Violet Berlin. Is it I classic no... mess Violet Berlin? <laughs> classic <laughs> mess or, or new mess? Or modern N-U. mess. Um, I, I don't know. I don't, I've never seen new mess Violet Berlin. What's new mess Violet Berlin look like? <sighs> Older and flatter hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look her up. I'm going to look up Violet Berlin now and just have Google go, I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Ask Siri. I shouldn't have said that. My phone will try to do something. Yeah, no, <laughs> well, don't, 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 don't do Luckily, that. Luckily, it didn't pick up on it. Uh, Violet Berlin now. That's not her name. It's just Violet Berlin. <laughs> yeah, I know, but then you might get a Google hit for her name. Oh, Violet my. Berlin now. <laughs> Actually, if that, You would. No, just she looks younger in a way. She, well, maybe it was just a bad picture I saw. Let me have a look. Show me. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> here you go, we're holding it up to the microphone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Viola, I can't spell. Viola. She had a lot of different looks, didn't she? Berlin. Oh, double L. I called it wrong. Berlin. Now. That's... I'm going to um, I'm gonna find her she on our Twitter She did have feed. a lot of different looks, didn't she? And I'm going to start following her. With a uh, half her hair, long half her hair short look she had yeah she's uh, now, she had a lot of different looks she just looks like a mum like an old mum she maybe she is which is allowed it's not she a criticism it's fine it's quite good actually that halfway down the page is where bad there's a, like a bad influence like magazine oh, yeah. cover with, with her and Andy Crane fighting Zangief. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andy Crane isn't one. fighting. Violet Berlin is about to electrify his head. To be, to and Andy Crane's like, I'm, I can't believe that Violet Berlin's going to electrocute Zangief's head. To be honest, it looks like Andy Crane's about to assault her. He does <laughs> a bit. Behind. He's like, don't tell them, readers. I'm going in for the kill. For now, for now. For now, for now. And saying, yes, like Violet, you've got better things to worry about than my head being electrocuted. Andy Crane's behind you. Yeah, he's also thinking, hoo, hoo, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> As he did. As he did at the end. <sighs> Every time. Mm. Now, a bad influence. The thing it was famous for, if that can be a thing for this, is it had its data burst 
at the end oh, of the yeah. show where you could record the show and then pause for cheats and tricks and hints and things for video games. And in all the episodes I watched, not once <laughs> did they do it for any Amiga games <laughs> no. that I had. No. And I had hundreds because, like I've said before, no one bought Amiga games. We all just no. copied them and passed them around the playground. So It was, uh, <clears throat> it was like preparing kids for drug dealing, wasn't it, Amiga? <laughs> Yeah, not. I didn't do that after. No, but it was. It's, it was just you, giving you the were skills. Implying. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they ne- they never ever had you know or, or games that I wanted cheats for because a lot. Yeah. To be fair, a lot of Amiga games had built in cheats, the copied games anyway. So a lot of the time yeah. we didn't need them, but I needed one for Leander because that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> But Data Burst, that was um, because Fist of Fun, that must have been on around the same, the same time. time as this, yeah. and they used to do it on the end of their <clears> as well, didn't they? But those were funny and useful and good. Yeah, they were funny about like events coming up and things. But this yeah. was uh, like tips and cheats for Sonic the Hedgehog, which I didn't have on my Amiga. Sonic the Hedgehog's rubbish. Rubbish. I hate it. I don't like it. Put it in the garage. <laughs> Um, so yes, uh, back to the bottom of another barrel um, with uh, bad influence. Um, hopefully, you'll watch it with us. It's on YouTube. This is series two, episode one, uh, uploaded by Red B, whose uh, avatar picture is the Cookie Monster. So it uh, is. that might help, but uh, you'll find it because there's probably this is probably <laughs> the only episode on YouTube. It is. It's just the second comment underneath. Someone's put, hi, my name is Matthew. I was wondering, have you got any classic interviews of Rhino from Gladiators, please? (laughs) (laughs) And he's asked it twice. (laughs) He's asked it again, yeah. Have you got any classic interviews of Rhino from Gladiators on CITV, please? Thank you very much. Uh, Matthew Chad, I think you have an unhealthy interest in that Gladiator. Which one was Rhino? He was uh, the really stocky black guy. Short, like short, quite short, but really stocky. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I, I think there that is on, in the thumbnails on the side. There is an earlier episode of uh, Bad Influence, oh, but it seems to have it. like nostalgia nerd something like a voiceover thing. So we won't worry about that. Um, you know what I was doing? I was <clears throat> mixing up a Gladiator Rhino with Rhino the wrestler, the shit wrestler uh, from uh, WWE shit, and isn't he? TNA. Yeah, he is shit. He's got no neck. He can't even spell Rhino. He puts a Y in it like an idiot. Oh, what is he? A wassail? <laughs> <laughs> He's a cross between a rhino and uh Y bird from Y bird. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's that is horrific. That oh well, yeah, doing it to a puppet. I mean we know do know somebody who probably does things to puppets, but you know, to be on telly and do it. <laughs> Bad influence indeed. So bad influence, crazy. Let's watch this shit and get all nostalgic about <coughs> old games that we probably never had because you had an Amiga and I had a Super Nintendo probably about a year or so after this was on TV. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. <clears throat> so three, two, one. Billy Idol. This isn't a game. I've never seen I this do, in my life. I Ooh. do remember this intro though, and I. Because I, pr- I did used to watch all the video game TV shows that I could. Yeah. Some of them were good, and some of them were this. Yeah. Do you know what the, the, the most... Well, there's a lot wrong with this opening sequence, but the first thing is she was playing the game with a controller, mm. and he was playing with a joystick. Yeah, that's not so right, is it? That's not right. And also, but he was using a Python joystick, which is the exact same joystick I had for my Amiga. And yet they still snubbed you with all their tips and tricks. Yeah. Oh, look at her lisping Billy Idol. <laughs> oh, it's Mortal Kombat, I but that. it's no blood. Yeah, that's the uh, SNES version had no blood, didn't it? Didn't yeah, that's sweat <laughs> instead. The Amiga version had blood. Like in your face. Oh my god, I've forgotten this guy in his shed. Oh Christ. What was his name? Drug Adult like Dave. A <laughs> Drug Adult Dave. He's got his, his felt tips. tips. What's he going to do? He's got his bad influence cheat book. That's oh, he good. does the cheats. Great, can't wait. He's a proper rebel, isn't he? He's got his kazoo. He's, 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 he's with it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he gives a cheat for a game I've got in 1993. <laughs> Here's hoping. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. Fingerless gloves crossed. <laughs> Fingerless gloves. Fingered crossed. What's oh, he playing? he's playing the Super Nintendo. Is, did you have this game? What is it? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. Because he didn't say, well, it's like start an A. For what? What game is it? I can't see it. Oh, I don't know. Metroid, it looks like, like isn't. Oh, some sort of like R-type bullshit. I hate yeah, games like that. 
Oh, God, yeah. I like Gradius. I hated that as well. Parodius was alright. Parodius was fun. Not a bit different, but... but it was still fucking hard. I didn't like hard games. I want easy games I can win. <laughs> I want games like today where they say every five seconds so you don't have to think about it. <laughs> yeah. That is the, the one of the differences. But also, like when you play any new game now, you spend about half an hour learning how to play a game through a tutorial. Yeah. Have you played Red Dead Redemption 2 yet? No. no like the first think. two hours is tutorial, pretty much. <laughs> Which is fine if you've got two hours, but generally I just want to log in and like ride Don't a horse it. for a bit and then yeah. go, then stop playing. It is brilliant, though, Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a stunning game. I will get to it. Good. Have we told the story of uh, of uh, <laughs> what your son said about... Was it the, the, right, like the horse thing? He said he'd spent a lot of time playing Red Dead Redemption. I can't remember. What was it? Oh, was it well, it's... If, probably need to edit this out then. About, I can't remember <laughs> uh, about one, about jumping on you and like like you like he was gonna um, like when you're taming horses. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, boy. Yeah, he's been, he's been playing it a lot and he's just living the cowboy life in his head now. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yes, I can't like yeah. If I like, well, I don't know. If I'm cleaning up something on the floor next time, they jumped on my back in the street. <laughs> yeah, or just stroke my head saying you're a good boy. <laughs> Get off. That's normally our reaction. Get off. Get off me. Get off me, silly bee. Why did Andy want to meet Violet in the kit in the canteen? For a fuck. Oh, okay. That's and fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time. Yeah. Oh, crumbs everywhere. Horrible. Ooh, all over your bottom. <laughs> What's this? They're trying to flog some Amstrad shit, aren't they? It's a Newton Look piece of this. shit. Oh, that's what did I say? an iPad is. Melt. Melt meat. Melt meat, so it's obviously really good. Brain. Melt meat scribble. Is she trying to make this look good? Because it's not, is it? For 1993, it's probably top notch. Soft. It yeah. didn't recognise her name. She's called Soft Berlin now. Ha <laughs> ha. And he's called Hard Crane. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even funny, but it's late, so I don't care. It's funny enough, though. Oh, it's Jurassic Park the game. It's actually quite good looking there. What, what, what version? What? What? I think that's the Super Nintendo one. I had the Game Boy version. I did play that. I've never ever played it. See, the Mega Drive version, you played as the Velociraptor. That's the only version I've ever played. Okay, this, no, this version. Sorry, this version I played because my nephew had it and it was. Yeah, you could play as Alan Grant doing loads of stuff that he never did in the film. Or you could play as a Velociraptor doing loads of stuff that a Velociraptor never did in the film. <laughs> yeah. The kid's playing this game must be in his 40s now. Yeah. That make you feel better. What, what a loser. <laughs> Still reliving the past, probably. Yeah. Idiot. But yeah, Alan Grant in the film, not once he like, gunned down loads of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> because in the Game Boy version, his gun fires something the size of like a beach ball. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Showing the Velociraptor gameplay now. Let's go around like killing loads of people. That does seem more fun. It was more fun. I've changed my mind. I think that's better. Fifty pounds. Actually, they're about now, that now, aren't they? It's <laughs> just about the same, haven't they? It's weird that so it's, games yeah. for whatever the console have always been around <coughs> that price, apart from well, unless you were buying Amiga games or old Amstrad games on tape. Yeah, that's true. Astro games are great. They're like a quid. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Have you played Bandersnatch yet on um, Netflix? No, I haven't. It's good. It's it can be a bit repetitive, but it is good. Yeah, I've watched Bird Box though. That's quite good. I liked Bird Box as well. I didn't really understand why I liked it, but I did like it. No, I shouldn't have liked it either. But I thought it was quite good. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of. I haven't seen A Quiet Place yet, but I imagine it's very similar. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I would have thought so. I want to see a quiet place though. I don't know. I've sort of had it ruined for me because I've seen. Ah, uh, well, I know bits about it. But... Bits that I probably shouldn't have. There's a tiny little cheap man running around in front of the big cheap man, and he's scared of it, so he's moved to the TV. Oh, he feels all funny in his tummy. <laughs> he's going to put the little tiny cheap man into his trousers. Into his tummy hole. That's what he calls it. <laughs> what game is this? Like Pause. Pause it and then go kabab kabab kabab. <laughs> and that makes oh. you do pause the game. Look, I wish you'd bring up what game it is on the screen because obviously he's saying it, but I haven't got the sound up, so I don't know. 
It's annoying me. I want to know more yeah, this, this, this show demands you pay attention to it. I don't like it. It does. Look at the futuristic set, though. Look. Look at that, like, uh, metal squid hanging from the ceiling. It's very futuristic. It's like lots of people have got <clears> their uh, washing machines and dryers all hooked up to, like, <laughs> That's what it is. Hub. It's underneath a laundry. A laundrette run. <laughs> yeah. What's this? What's happening? Oh, it's the data burst. He's, he's explaining how the data burst works. What, is it the data burst time already? No. 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 <laughs> but filler. It's filler already. There's no content. So why why is the logo dinosaurs? Why isn't yours? Uh, Good point. <laughs> Good point. I mean, they both look like actual dinosaurs as well because they're on land, so we know that's... Accurate now. Oh, that's actually Aladdin, that was a good game. animation on there. Is that the SNES or the Mega Drive? Because they are different, aren't they? They are different. I don't know. That looked too good to be either, actually. <laughs> there might have been an arcade version. Oh, I think the, the difference is the that game. there's a sword in one as well. Oh, what's, what game is that? Some sort of horrible um, video camera. Well, I forgot what they, they had a proper name, didn't they? Well, the video capture game. Was it FMV? I forget. Uh. Super Star, Super Star Wars, Wars. Or Super Empire Which Strikes Back. People used to rave about those games, and I've I've got them now on my emulator. And obviously, I understand that things have moved on, but I don't think I would have liked them then either. They're just really difficult. They are really. I died on Hoth really quickly. Yeah, they're too hard. Too hard. It's too, too hard, hard. Crane, not soft burning. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this VR? prick? Who's this prick? Mustard jumper. <laughs> That's quite a good game. <laughs> it could be like you could make that into a little game for a phone. Mustard jumper. Mustard jumper. You've got to jump over the mustard pots or into them. I don't know. You work it out. It's your game. I work it out, and then it's just people going, "Who's this prick?" All the time. <laughs> That's the W4B game. If you want to play Mustard Jumper, tell us, and we put it on. <laughs> we'll put it on Kickstarter, and you can give us lots of money to develop it. Yeah, and also to learn how to make a game because you have to yeah. fund that as well. <laughs> If you want us to make it and you know how to make it, get in touch. <laughs> and we can put our names on it. Yeah. You can use some sound bites from this episode. Don't be for be mustard jumper. Here you go. It's, it's mustard some jump. Sounds. Mustard some jump. Sound. <laughs> That's what he says when he's jumping. <laughs> It's better than what I was gonna do. I was just gonna go into a range of like a range of grunts, <laughs> like ugh, ugh. <laughs> no, whatever he's doing, he, ex- he exclaims it with the word mustard. Mustard walk, mustard walk, mustard, walk and mustard jump, mustard crouch, mustard die. That's what he does. <laughs> you might need to separate that audio out for the end so somebody can put that in because the sound of me laughing over the top of it won't be usable for the game and it's going to be a high quality game so it is so when you're making it whoever you are <laughs> make sure you do a good job <laughs> you need better I'm not putting my name on any old shit no <laughs> me neither when Wacken Wheels were bigger presents Mustard Jumper <laughs> Mustard Jumper Oh, I'm jumping mustard. <laughs> it's, it's and his catchphrase probably... could be he can say things and people don't hear him. He goes, they mustard not have heard me. <laughs> it's still better than Cool Spot. It's, everything is better than Cool Spot. That's bloody oh, awful. Yeah. On every format. <laughs> every format. Drink 7 up. I don't want to. Why is it? They should have used Fido Dido. They should. And it still would have been shit. <laughs> and then every time he died, he could have gone, Oh, I died, oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Were, they, were they using a, an old version of um, Photoshop then in that previous bit, or was it Deluxe Paint 3? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Because <laughs> the toolbar looked like Photoshop, but mm. I don't know when the first Photoshop came out. Oh, that's a good point. I don't know. I don't know either. 1993, would it have existed then? I, I, I guess. I suppose it might have done in a basic or rudimentary form. They've not covered thing. any games I've wanted to look at. Oh, sir, Amiga CD32. That was a failure. <laughs> games on CDs. God. Look at that. Imagine that. It's Imagine the future. It. Imagine physical media. <laughs> it's the future. Kick it over. Oh. <laughs> Really, really wanted to push them all on the floor. Yeah, we'll throw a kid through it. Look at all this stack of CDs. Is that Night Trap he's playing? 
I <laughs> doubt it. <laughs> oh, I don't know, actually. No, it's not, is it? No. It would have been hilarious if it was Night Trap. And then spin to the camera. And then the idea is to stop the ladies being molested. By vampire things. <laughs> collars that suck out their blood. <laughs> now that's been Mortal Kombat, I'm going to punch this twat's head off. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Something gives me the impression that neither Andy Crane nor Violet Berlin actually know anything about video games. And it's just it's like the, these were the people they had available. Oh, well, I think she she had a, an interest though because she did a couple of different game shows no. from memory. No, she didn't. <laughs> All right then. Your memory is false. <laughs> what? I've, I've learned that. What's going on with Andy? Where have they got him waving? In the they, they've captured some full motion video and they're showing the power of a CD, oh, I think. We're going to turn this into an animated GIF. It's going to take five days. <laughs> <laughs> per frame. Per frame. Oh, the CD. Per Andy oh, frame. It's when they're really trying to pioneer CD games and they realise that actually they were quite a way away from that working. <laughs> and stuck to cartridges until the PlayStation came out. <laughs> Well, they've, they've all come back again now, and a cartridge <clears throat> is something you can swallow with a cup of tea if you want to nowadays. <laughs> <clears throat> High five, bad influence, pal. This is the exterminator. It's a nifty little uh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's, it's oh, a cheek thing. Those? The cheek cartridges. Did you have one of those for your snacks? Uh, I had, I think I had an action replay, I think, I think it was called. Was that because they had the Game Genie as well, didn't they? Was that a mega yeah. thing? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a game, I think Game Genie was available on different formats, but I think oh, one okay. was the action replay, because well, I remember spending a long time putting in codes on it, and it never really being worth it. No, that was the problem, wasn't it? it was too much hassle on a lot Just of play the game normally. Somebody spent a long time developing that game and making it fun, and you've just tried to fucking ruin it with a oh, stupid plug-in thing. Look at that, the Super Scope. I had the super scope. You did. You bought it off a dodgy friend of mine from school. <laughs> it was good fun, though. The super scope. It was good. It was. It was really reactive as well. If yeah, that's the right word. You know what I mean. It was. It was just because it was. Sorry, was the word I meant. So heavy because <clears throat> you had to have it. There was a shoulder mounted, so you couldn't play it for very long because it was quite no. awkward. But it was good fun. But it was quite cool, wasn't it? Oh yeah. And the fact it did actually work as a light gun as well. Yeah. I liked it. Is this Parodius? It looks like it. No, uh, Parodius was side side scrolling. What's this then? <laughs> what's, what's this break? <laughs> what's I this know. break? I don't know. This is more Maybe like because um, our type is side scrolling. It's more like um, oh, what's that one they play in the Avengers? Uh, uh, Gallagher. Uh, Gallagher. It's more like Gallagher. <laughs> well, they don't play it. It's not just a scene of all the Avengers sat around. Yeah, they do. Passing the control around. <laughs> the competition. My go, my go. I hate, Captain I really America's hate like this is mind blowing. Why? Why do you hate games like this? I don't know, I just want to pull like X type. That's the one I had on the Amiga. It's just like, when you're f flying up the screen and it's obviously s slowly scrolling down, you're just shooting enemies. I just found them so boring. I don't know what this game is. I'm going to turn the volume up and see if they'll tell me. Lots of action, lots of. Oh, it's Bob and Twinby. Oh, you do I do remember we are, that. We are perfectly in sync with our audio for Bad Influence because I've got well, that sound it, it, it times perfectly with their mouths. Pop, Pop and Twinby. Twin Have you got Pop and Twinby on your emulator? You no, I wouldn't. I'd rather smash my emulator to bits. And <laughs> really got four stars on Bad Influence in 1993. I don't believe dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't trust the dinosaurs' point of view. What's this? Like soccer. I remember this game. I didn't have it, but I do remember it. So I think it's just called something like Soccer Kid or something shit like that. Is it on the Amiga? Uh, it's on the shit game consoles. <laughs> 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 so the, sorry. That was very weak. Um, it's fine. It'll probably say in a minute. Well, it will say in a minute. They will. I'm, I'm sure it was it called up. something like Soccer Kid. Probably. Something stupid. You know they didn't really try hard with names, did they, back then? No, <laughs> they didn't have to. There weren't many games. I've got this game right. It's on an island. There are lots of rainbows. What should we call it? <laughs> Pop and Twinbee. <laughs> no, that's taken. Ah, oh, what's the odds? I mean, Christ, some of the Amiga games' names are ridiculous. Some, some of Amiga are well, so bored playing this. They, they all do. The girl talking about Pop and Twinbee having great action and great character uh, displayed neither. Soccer Kid, you're right, Amiga, it was Soccer, Soccer Kid. kid. Yeah. £30 on the Amiga. Do you know what, the graphics were quite good though for the Amiga. 
Yeah, I mean, this is all the stuff. The, the the generation of games we're watching now are the ones that we're playing on emulators and phones. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the stuff yeah. that is at the same graphical level. Um, True. Well, higher actually. It's <laughs> keeping. Yeah, it does. It keeps kids entertained now. This kind of thing. Sucky kid. I remember. I remember because I used to um, get a mega format magazine. I remember reading a review about it. But I, didn't bother getting that in the playground. Mortal Kombat! <gasps> She's going to talk about Mortal Kombat. Let's see if she uh, says it's bloody. Oh, they showed some blood on kids' TV! Ah, my brain's melting! I hope she p- he pulls her head off then. That'd be good. <laughs> Finish her. Finish her, go on. Oh. <laughs> basically what was a joke about five minutes ago about Andy Crane <laughs> talking about <laughs> killing someone on Mortal Kombat actually happened on this yeah. episode. But now they've, they've remembered and they're showing the f- blood free version. Yeah. That does feel like a mistake. Double ice backfire. I don't remember that ever happening. Oh, I should have gone to a finisher. It was first round. Oh, okay. He's not playing that. No. Mortal Kombat's great because you can like punch people's faces off and pull out their <laughs> backbones. And it is my favourite game. I'm going to do it with Violet later. But by, instead of pulling out her backbone, I'm going to put my bone in her back. <laughs> in her back? <laughs> no, got away from me that. <laughs> Just rub what, it species, on it. what species is she? <laughs> and they're going to make a Krillin. Wuzzles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This guy looks ill. He looks like Renton from Train Spotting. <laughs> he looks like Renton from Train Spotting going to a Joker audition. Yeah, he's got like a pale face and slightly. Maybe it's just my the color on my my screen. He also <clears> seems <throat> to be trying to emulate um, <gasps> body himself. blows. Body blows. I body blows on my media. It's brilliant. I love that. Quickly write this sheet down. <laughs> <laughs> where's, where's the pen and paper. <laughs> so if you get oh. both joysticks and you pull them both down. Okay, something happened behind him then. He did it went it, uh, some options thing? What happens? I don't know. He has a Does cry. It, does it unlock Max as a playable character? Cause I Which don't know one was Max? Do. He was the cyborg guy at the end. Oh, it probably does. Oh, no, I Let's say body blows. definitely <laughs> did. I wish I'd known that when I was 14. I could have played as Max then. <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> I'm sorry about that. Do you know what? I watched a, a playthrough of Body Blows. Yeah, and not once did either Dan or whatever the other brother was called go quamp. <laughs> and they were doing the move. I think they definitely went quamp when I played it. I think I've seen the same playthrough on YouTube because it's. Uh, were well, you probably only the quamp as well? Quamp, quamp. Mike, there was Ninja. Hooray! Hooray! Quamp. <laughs> ninja. Lord, his name be praised. Oh. oh, it's the data blast. Oh, I'm missing it. Arnold, Sh- Arnold Schwarzenegger. Cyborg we both stopped at exactly the same time. Pop and tune. Soccer kid. Home chart. This week, Nintendo chart. Full motion. Right on pen. Recognize wife. Word processing. Different words. What right happened to, to Arnold Schwarzenegger's name in that bit? Arnold Schwarzenegger is set to make name? a comeback. Is that a p- pun on something? No. You don't know that. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> I, well, I'm I don't. Try and pause it now. <gasps> Body blows. Amiga, if you want to extend the fun even further with Team 17's Premier Beat 'em Up on Amiga, tr- uh, try this one for size. Plug two. Jo- you see, that guy was completely unnecessary. They could have just done, summed up this whole show in oh, like three seconds. I just went the uh, back the Arnold Schwarzenegger <clears throat> bit. I wasn't quick enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, but you can't, even if you quickly press it, I couldn't get the next page. So, a uh, cheat menu for ultimate. Ah, oh, shit. Ultimate Fertling? What the fuck is that? Paul you know Daniels, eat your socks in shame. He's dead now. Have some respect Arnold's, for that you go. I've got it. Arnold <clears throat> Schwarzenegger is set to make a comeback in Terminator 3. But to tide you over, a claim about to release the fab, the fad T2 arcade game on SNES. I think they're trying to be funny. but um, I don't think they are. Ah, fucking hell, I've not my... So, what, <laughs> what other content has Red B got that makes people ask him for interviews for with Rhino from CITV? I don't know. He's got time trumpet episodes. I'm gonna put something in his I'm gonna, I'm gonna comment. <laughs> I'm gonna comment. 
shock movie so, massacre. I comma, remember that. Have you got any <laughs> interviews with a rhino? A rhino of any description. <laughs> <laughs> This I will accept. Monk, monk, run, what was the rhino monkey called in Wasps? I, I will accept rhino from WWE <laughs> with a Y. Yep, from WWE. Rhino from Gladiators. <laughs> Gladiators, or. Rhino Key from the Wuzzles. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Surely you've got to say please and thank you, like the like Matthew. What's his name has? Okay. The... So what, what did he put? Please. Because I've not got it on my screen now. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm watching an oh, episode right. of Shock Movie Massacre that uh, Red Bee has also uploaded. Oh, okay. So have you got any interviews with the Rhino of any description? I will accept Rhino from WWE, Rhino from Gladys, or Rhino Key from the Wuzzles. If not, just respond <laughs> with a, in brackets, Rhy, R-H-I, close brackets, <laughs> No. That is Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> That's your little play, if Rhino. Uh, so if you've got any interviews with Rhino of any description, I'll accept Rhino from WWE, Rhino from Gladys, or Rhino Key from the Wuzzle. If not, just respond with the Rhino post. Oh. post we could have been watching Series 1, Episode 1. Because he's got that uploaded as well. Has he? Well, I found this one, and that would do for my needs. <laughs> but he's also got every episode of Shock Movie Massacre with Emily Booth. What's that? Um, I see. I think it, I don't know if it was on Bravo or something. Maybe I, maybe What's I it about? It something else. Um, it's just like a sort of movie show, but it's got Emily Booth in it, and I seem to remember finding her quite attractive when I was a bit younger. Anyway, who's Emily Booth? Look her up. Oh, well, I'm looking her up now. Emily <laughs> Booth. Ugh, Violet Blin's still on there. Yeah, I'm watching Bad Influence Episode uh, 1, Season really? 1 now, and the, the VHS cassette has fared poorly. Is it Booth with a knee on the end? No. Oh, I remember really Booth. Yeah. Yes, I do. <gasps> Chuck Rock was in window. Series 1, Episode 1. Oh, I love Chuck Rock. Hey, Again, that was hard. Now. It was impossible without the cheats. <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Rock. <laughs> it's really hard. Awful. Have we done Games Master? Yeah, we have. That's all right. As long as it beat this, I'm happy. Yeah. We should do Games World next. We should do, because Games World was quite good. That was the Sky 1 one, wasn't it? The Sky 1 1 1. Sky 1 1 1. Was it Bob Mills that presented that? With Bob Mills. Because the guy who, or one of the guys, I think it was Barry, or like he was a great big fat guy, he doesn't seem to have aged because he's appeared on other things uh, recently and he looks exactly the same. Because wasn't your good friend Larry Bundy Jr. on Games World? Larry Bundy Jr. was on there, yeah, he was. As a contestant. As a fat kid. <laughs> Do I win a pie? I'm not throwing stones for, you know, for being fat. Because uh, I can't, because I've got they, tiny they little know. arms, because I'm so fat myself. But listen, you're like a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The listeners don't know how fat you are. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, I think they've built up a good picture of it uh, <laughs> over the years. Aww. Wow. Should stop eating cake? Oh, I don't want to. I like cake's it. It's great, isn't it? I love cake. It is great. I like cake. I like it, after eights more. Can, oh, I eat a lot of after eights in one go over Christmas. Yeah, me too. Because that's what they're there for, isn't it? They're the best thing. They are the best thing. I don't know if they're the best thing. <laughs> yes, they are. They're the best thing. Best thing ever? Maybe. Let's look for Games World. Um, I'll happily do Games World. Well, now? No. <laughs> I'll go to bed. Games I World. I go to bed. <laughs> Games World, Sky 1. If they've got Episode 1, 
Because um, Bob Mills used to be quite entertaining. I don't know what he does now. Uh, not a lot. Games World. It's Sky One. Episodes. Yeah. There oh, we yeah. Go. David Wallace was in it, wasn't he? Was he? I don't know. His name came up. Video Game Journalist Special. Series 1. Beat the Elite. What's going on in that? I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch loads of these. Probably go to bed now. That's what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Me too. Well, maybe we'll do that another time. Anyway, um, if you uh, ever appeared on uh, any game show in the late '80s or early '90s, let us know. You can tweet us at Spread the Whimsy and tell us whether you won or lost or had a cry. Yeah. Or um, if you were Larry Bundy Jr. Yeah, get in touch, Larry. Come at get me. Get in touch. Come at him. <laughs> Come you could have a wrestle, me. have a sexy could, wrestle. <laughs> could have a sexy wrestle with uh, Guru Larry. I uh, I won't rule that out. Um, but yeah, contact us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash more regular for bigger, and also go to the website. Wayne, wow, wow, wow. Larry, <laughs> look, I, just, I haven't I haven't necessarily got a problem with Guru Larry. It's the, what it is is he just sounds like he's got a mouthful of cake all the time. What's it's not about his weight. He? I don't have a problem that, you know, I'm a fat person. I'm not having a go for that. It just, he talks funny. And also, like, he's got a show on YouTube that he called Games That Yanks Can't Wank. It doesn't make any sense. It's a stupid title. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree with that. It is a stupid Spend title. a few more minutes thinking of a clever title. Don't just put wank in it because it rhymes with yank. The sentence doesn't make any sense. Lots of words rhyme with yank. Tank, plank, wank. Lots of them. Three. Three there. I gave you three. Just, just try and come up with something clever, innit? Yeah. I was going to call him Gary then. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> Luru Gary. Luru Gary. <laughs> We've gone off the rails a little bit here. I don't want to make it a vendetta thing. And just, you know, just spend a bit of time making better stuff. Your friends on YouTube all make good things, Larry. Like, just try and learn from them. Yeah. Hendetta. That'd be a wuzzle that was crossed between a hen. And a vendetta. vendetta. <laughs> and V from V for Vendetta. Yeah. It was basically like just it. a chicken with a V mask on. H for Hendetta. Yeah. <laughs> I'd watch that. <laughs> what would they eat instead of eggy in a basket? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let us know at Spread the Whimsy or uh, facebook.com forward slash when wagon wheels were bigger. Also, let us know if you pay to watch us running around a supermarket. <laughs> well, we will do it. We'll We're do crazy. it for a special episode. <laughs> we'll do it. We will. I'll do it. Anyway. We wear GoPros. <laughs> yeah, we wear... <laughs> or cheap Sainsbury's alternatives. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all the same. It's all the same. So, I'm going to go now. Because... Me too. This one went off the rails. I'm sorry. It's not a great one. But if you, if you watched it because you were a fan of Bad Influence, it's probably about the same quality level you're used yeah. to. And I've got... Uh, about 30 episodes of Games World to watch now before I go to bed in an hour so I've got a lot to, cr- I've got a lot to cram in start so. with the Guru Larry one I will no, 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 say, woo, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> um, see you next week pal yes bye <laughs>